Hi everybody, today I will show you how to add a blog post in WordPress with Elementor. So let's just begin. Okay, to add the blog post in WordPress using Elementor, it's really simple. So first of all, you have to install the Elementor. So for that, all you need to do is to go inside the plugin. And inside the plugin, all you need to do is to click on the Add New. And here you have to search down for the Elementor. Okay, so as you can see the Elementor here, and I have already installed this. So you have to install the Elementor from here. And now what you can do to add the blog post, let's just click on the add. And from here, let's just click on the post here. Okay, so let's just write down the title of the post here. That is this post. And now what you need to do, let's just click on the edit with Elementor. And from here, you can simply add anything in your post. So let's just add the image here. All right, so let's click on the choose image. And I will simply use this image. Click on the select. And this is how we can add the image. And if I wanted to add the heading, I can simply do it from here as well. So just put it here before the image and you can add the heading here. All right. Let's just go back. And in a similar way, if you want to add the text, you can simply do it. So let's drag the text editor here and put this below the image. And from here, you can simply add the text if you want to. Okay. So this is how you can add the blog post. So let's click on the publish and click on the look here. Okay. So you can see the blog post here. And if you want to see all the blog posts all together, what you need to do, you have to click on the plugin and click on the add new. And from here, we have to install a plugin that will help us to show all the blog posts all together on a single page. So let's write down post grid. Okay, so as you can see the post grid here by radius team. So we have to install this and now we have to activate this. Okay, so now you can see that we are inside the settings of the post grid. So these are the common settings as you can see here. We have the resource load type in which we have the default. We have the elementary or Gutenberg and the shortcuts only. So I'll simply click with the elementary and the Gutenberg and you can leave all these settings as it is. So let's click on the save. Now what we need to do, we have to click on the pages and in the pages, I have to add the new page. Okay, so now I have to write down the title of our page. It would be the load page. So now let's click on the edit with Elementor. Okay, so as you can see this, we are inside the Elementor editor. And as you can see the post grid elements here. So we have the grid layout, we have the list layout. So if you want to show the blog post and the list layout, you'll simply drag this. And you will be able to see all of your blog list all together in the list form. Okay, so you can change the layout from here. So we have the layout 2 and we also have the layout 3. And you can also export these other options. But if you want to use the grid layout, so let's just uh, delete this and drag the grid layout here. You will be able to see the blog post and the grid layout. So we also have the two other layouts here. So we have the layout two and the three. So you can adjust the layout here and let's just export these other options. And you can also see the other layouts here. But thing is, these are the part of the pro version. Okay. So let's just export the other options here. So if you talk about the layout options, so in the layout options, we have the columns. Uh, so now you can see that we have the default value that is actually in the three posts on a single column. But if I change the value to the two columns, it would have the two posts. Okay, so now you can see this. This is how it works. You can change the value here. You can change the value to the one column, three columns and the four column as well. All right, so let's just click on the default from the layout. And if you want to align the text of the post into the center or to the left or the right, you can simply do it from here. So right now, let's click on the center. And this would actually align our text into the center. And we also have the query built. So in the query build, as you can see this, we have these post source. So right now, we only want to show the posts here. Okay, so we have selected the post. So you can also choose the pages if you want to show the list of the pages here. So we have the common filters. So in the common filters, we have the include only. So if you know the ID of the post, you can simply write down the ID of the post here. And it will only show us those posts. And in the similar way, if you want to exclude any post from here, all you need to do is to write down the ID number of that particular post here. And if you want to limit the number of the posts to show on the page, you can simply do it from here. So if I just write down the one here, you will be able to see a single post here. Okay, so this is how it works. All right. Okay, so now if we talk about the advanced filters, so in the advanced filters, we have the category. So you can filter the post by the category and you can filter the post by the text. So let's click on the add icon here and you can see here we have the two categories. The first one is actually the uncategorized 
and the second one is actually the technology so if i just select the technology from here you will be able to see only the post that actually comes under the category of the technology in the similar way we can go with the uncategorized here as well all right so if you want to filter the post by the text you can simply do here so let's click on the add here and you can see this we have the new we have the blog and we have the create so if i just click on the blog you will be able to see only the post that include the blog tag so let's remove this from here all right so in a similar way you can filter by the author okay so we also have the keywords and you can also set the date range but that is actually the part of the pro version uh, you can order the post by the date and you can order by the post id author titles and you can see the other options here okay and in the similar way you can sort the order by descending or the ascending okay so now let's click on the pagination so in the pagination if you want to enable the pagination you can simply do it from here so let's enable this and i want to display the three posts on a single page now you can see this we have the two pages here okay so this is how the pagination works and let's just click on the links here so we have the post link type so if i just click on this post it would actually go to that particular post okay and let's click here and you can see here the second option is the no link so you can choose the link to the detail page or the no link from here all right and if you want to open the link in the same window you can simply do it from here but if you want to open this in new window you can also like this from here and you can also have the thumbnail link all right so now let's go into the settings so in the settings as you can see here we have the different field selections so if you want to enable all of these field selection you can simply enable it from here but if you want to disable any one of it you can simply do it from here so right now i just want to disable the category so let's disable the category and you won't be able to see the category here and in the similar way if you want to disable the post date you can also do it and if you want to disable the post thumbnail you can also do this okay so now you can see this we don't have any thumbnail here so this is how you can play around with field sections and if you want to do the more customization you can go inside the selection title uh, you can see this we have this title you can go inside the post title you can go inside the excerpt or the content you can go inside the metadata you can actually explore these options by yourself from here all right so let's click on the style here so if you want to customize our grid layout you can simply do it from here so you can see this we can customize the section title and we can customize the post title and we can customize the content metadata and read more and the card okay so let's click on the read more just for the example all right so now you can see this on the button we actually don't have any background color on the hover so if i just click on the hover here and click on the background color let's just go with any random color here or kind of grayish color okay so that would work fine so if i just move the cursor over the button you can see this we have this background color on the hover okay so this is how you can play around with all of these options here and if you want to change the margin and the padding of the layout you can simply do it from here and you can explore these advanced settings from here but right now i just simply publish this and i'll simply have a look at our page and now you will be able to see the post page here so this is how we can create the post page so in this video we learn to add the blog post and the wordpress using elementor and if you really find this video useful hit the like button and subscribe the channel